What's up, YouTube? You guys like my hair? My messy, messy, really weird hair. I need to get a haircut today. But um, it is Sunday, and I am here about to work out. Uh, but I'm gonna work on some coding a little bit. I'm here in Fullerton. Check out, I'm about to go to a coffee shop to study some PHP and edit some videos before I go to USC gym today. But yeah, so again, it is Sunday. It's time to get busy. Um, but I actually wanted to show you guys the two books. I know I showed one yesterday, but here's another one, another book that I have that helps you learn the command line. This is a good book to use. Um, if you haven't seen that yet, uh, here's another book that I use um, right here, which teaches PHP, MySQL, JavaScript, CSS. So those are generally good books that you can use, but all right, I gotta go. Don't have much time, so I'm gonna go ahead and work. Alright right, YouTube, so I'm here. I'm leaving uh, the coffee shop right now. Um, I'm late. I gotta go to USC gym. The class starts at 10 a.m. But um, yeah, there's actually something I want to talk about and uh, it's really interesting. Someone left a comment on YouTube today and they left a comment saying how he knows more code than me and yet he can't get a job. Then what's the problem? That's what I want to talk about today. So. You know, there are a lot of people, I can honestly say, that do know much more code than I do, you know, than I know right now. But the difference between professional experience and teaching yourself and not having any experience is that you don't know how to work with clients yet. You don't know how to necessarily get a project done. You know how to create functions, but you don't know exactly what the process is to get a page and, you know, what are the requirements you need and what server do you use and etc. And those are things that I want to try to go over today after the gym. Today is the beginning of summer shredding. I'm excited, 9.53, class starts at 10 and I still need to change. <laughs> see you guys later. Oh my gosh, guys, my camera's shaking because I'm so tired. I don't even know if you can see me, look at my hair, man. I don't have my uh, uh, stabilizer right now, so it's shaking, but look how much it's sweating. Oh my gosh, I'm exhausted, dude. Look, I went right there, USC gym. Man, that was intense. <laughs> it's a, honestly a really good workout. I've been going, you know, lifting weights at the gym, but man, if you want to burn fat ASAP, UFC gym honestly is the way to go. So, but alright, guys, um, I'm exhausted. I need a shower. My camera's shaking. My hands are shaking right now. I'm so exhausted. But this is day one of summer shredding, and also the life of a web developer. <laughs> a UFC web developer. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But alright, guys, I got to go. Got to get ready for church and shower. See you guys later. Um, I'm gonna get healthy food. I'll show you in a second. So I'm parked here. At the other gym that has a shower, USC gym doesn't have a shower. Um, at least the one I go to, there's no shower in there, that's fine. It's actually next to the gym that I do go to that has the cleanest shower in America. <laughs> but pretty much what you do is a bunch of cardio, running, boxing, kickboxing, you'll learn more, Mai Tai, Muay Thai. Um, you know, a lot of, you know, push-ups. Uh, pretty much the entire body workout and it really works out your cardiovas cardiovascular system. Is that what you call it? And so it's good. I used to do UFC gym a lot before, a long time ago, when uh, before I even worked at my last job, before I work now. And um, I lost like 12 pounds in about a month and a half, and I lost a lot of weight fast. But uh, the problem is that I actually um, I injured my foot, so I had to stop working out. And then, but fortunately that happened because I really wanted to like do a lot of UFC gym and got into it. Fortunately that happened because I ended up learning how to code and now I'm here and so um, what I'm doing now is just uh, doing everything YouTube programming devs life on the side while doing freelance projects and USC it's a lot but at least I get to do what I love that's all yeah I want chicken breast small mashed potatoes not nothing to drink okay thank you Oh man, all right, just got out of the shower, getting some healthy protein, then heading to church. All right, what's up YouTube? Um, it is the end of the night. It is 
Sunday, got work tomorrow. I'm here at Boba Loca, as usual right there. Uh, I just edited vlog number 32 and it's exporting at this moment and as it's exporting I figured, you know what, I have to end the vlog well for Sunday when the video is up on Monday. And uh, one thing I wanted to talk about is how, well actually let me share with you. I don't have the email in front of me, I wanted to originally read it to you first before I talk about it. What I want to talk about is um, this comment I got on YouTube recently and I'm sure that person is going to watch this video too but uh, this person said Chris uh, I have more skill than you he said you know what Chris I know more codes than more code than you I know more languages than you I know more JavaScript frameworks than you and I've been coding coding for months and you got hired in three months knowing only HTML and CSS when I hear stuff like that I first of all I'm honored and I am thankful uh, realizing how lucky I am to be in the position that I am today. And it, it's true, I know uh, what happened to me doesn't really happen to many people. Uh, and so what I want to talk about <laughs> is why was I able to do that? Yes, I was lucky, but number two, and that's something that I think a lot of self-taught developers lack since we don't have a degree to sell us, right? You didn't go to school and get a four-year college degree to show them how good you are at coding. But what do we need to do? Because if you were to go to school, right, if you go to college, what do you prove? How can you sell yourself is your computer science degree? But are, do we have a computer science degree? Most of us really don't. Then the question then is, how can I sell myself if I don't have a degree? What is it that I need to do? Is that what did I do, right, that that person probably isn't doing? And he isn't, isn't attacking me, but I just wanted to be able to help someone. So what, it, what is it that I did is that I know how to sell myself. I know what is valuable. I know what people want when they want to hire someone because I've done that in my previous jobs. I've been a part of the hiring process. But what is it that people want? They want people they can work with. They want people that actually smile. Right? They want people who actually know how to you know, work the system and really just show them like why you would want to hire them. So the question then is, right, is uh, why would they want to hire you? What is it that you have? Can they work with you? Are you selling yourself well where you know you're very presentable? Are you, you know, are you, I don't know, good looking? I don't know what it is, right? Do you have any skill? Have you done something that no one's done yet? Are you showing a passion that not the what you know, are you showing some sort of passion that two million other self-taught developers haven't shown yet? Are you, you know, working with forms? Do you know how to integrate with APIs? You know, what is it? Do you know how to sell yourself? Do you know how to present yourself where they want to hire you? And that's something you need to learn. That's something you have to be self-aware about yourself. You have to look at what it is that you're good at and really shine the light on that, highlight it, and really do whatever you can to sell yourself when you get an interview. So it's not just, you know, getting a job as a program, it's not just about knowing a lot of code, a lot of languages. It's way more than that. It's, can they work with you? Do you work well with a team? Are you too shy? Are you too cocky? Are you too prideful? Or are you just someone that I want to hire and work with? Are you someone I want to pay $60,000 a year to make my back end framework or my front end framework or to design my pages? Are you someone I want to work with? So what is it that we need to be able to do? Is that we have to learn how to sell ourselves. Now, how do you not sell yourself? For example, I've received hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of applications for the internship at my company. But it's really interesting because people are sending me these applications, but man, I'm looking at their social media. I'm following up on everyone's social media. And there's this one person, the first person to send me an application, I looked at his Instagram, and man, like he had pictures of him doing drugs, pictures of him drinking everywhere all the time. Like, why would I choose you over someone else who seems a bit more clean or honest? Not, do, do, is it bad to drink? No, it's not bad to drink. But, man, you have to learn how to present yourself. You have to know how to sell yourself. If you're gonna work for a web development or a tech company, don't you think they're gonna research you online? So what do you need to do to help sell yourself? Number one is clean up your social media. Number two, why do people wanna hire you? Number three, look at what it is you're lacking in and improve on that. Do you not smile enough? Are you too quiet? Do you get too nervous when you speak in front of people? Find a way to fix that. Do that well, and it'll help you so much more in getting a job. Me? Just to get a job, literally while I was working at every job I've ever worked at, all I did was apply, apply, apply to a new job, to a new job, to a new job. And I went to like, honestly, maybe 60 interviews in the span of one year. And why did I do that? Because not because I just wanted another job, but I wanted to improve in the interview process so that when that one opportunity comes up, I'm able to take it. 
So learn how to sell yourself, guys. That's important. But it's not just learning how to sell yourself, too. Honestly, uh, some people, you know, like some of my friends are thinking, you know what, I know I want to be a programmer. I know I, what, how good I need to be at coding. But you know what? I'm not in a rush. I'm just going to learn code when the opportunity comes up. That's a mistake. That's something I learned from. That's something I never want to do again. So what did I do? I hustled like crazy to learn as much code as I can so that when the opportunity comes up, I'm able to take it. But don't be that kind of person to think, you know what, there'll always be opportunities out there and so you know what, if I miss one, it's fine. No. Yes, that is true, but you want to change that mindset. You want to have the kind of mindset where you'll do everything you can to make sure you're ready for every opportunity out there. Because it is also true that there are some opportunities that'll never come up again. Right? Maybe you'll never get an opportunity to get that job that pays $120,000 a year because you weren't ready. And maybe you'll never get that offer again, but you'll get another offer for less, like $60,000 a year. You know, um, so always be ready, prepare yourself, do everything you can to really improve, look at what you're weak at, try to fix it if you can. If you can't, then look at what you're good at and make sure you even shine what you're good at even that much more. So, all right. Um, yeah, so Midori and I, we're gonna go get Korean barbecue after I upload this video and she's studying also. So now after we do that, Korean barbecue, then end of the day. All right, guys, um, that's it. This is Krishan. This is the life of a web developer. It's Sunday, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm out. I'm looking outside my window. I try to see where my luck goes. I just don't know how it slips out. There must be some kind of black.